if they're saying that these are all towards policy reform, what kind of policy reform if this does not address the context of the marginalized sector? It some social uh, enterprise, it also focuses on agriculture, but it does not look into the experiences and context and needs of marginalized women. And we're actually looking at our um, national experiences and context as our basis for our advocacy. So many women are fall into the uh, labor, they become the migrant that they get the very low uh, social security and also low paid and also uh, they are at risk of the being the exploited, including the sexual violence. But it's more likely that the migrant women um, become undocumented than migrant men. It's for women to have option whether or not to migrate and two, if they migrate, they migrate more safely and they have a better access to decent work. They're, they do not even consult us. So uh, there are different perspectives that need to be seen and they cannot assume that they know about us. We think ASEAN continues to be silent despite an increase in terms of direct attacks and other forms of violence against LGBT people. Sometimes our government need pressure from the regional level like ASEAN. Maybe if we advocate a sexual violence bill, this network also can help us. Because we want ASEAN human rights mechanisms to come up with recommendations to help governments improve laws and policies towards LGBT people. So this is the first time for me to be uh, invited to the CN level women conference and for a woman with disability to be recognized here and be a representative I'm able to contribute and learn uh, other people's other sectors experiences and this will of course create a great impact on me and I hope on them we learn a lot from each other we learn a lot from the different uh, sectors who brought a lot of the perspective to this economic integration and for us to step back and start developing um, a new strategies on how we are going to move forward. Now if women's movement and women's group are not listening to the economic integration and the sustainable development is not going to happen.